What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel where I've just discovered the new Poppy Playtime video which is called Poppy Playtime, the story so far, chapter 1. From watching this video, I've deducted that one thing. Poppy Playtime is not to be trusted. At the start of the video, we hear this message. 5. Entry to front lobby, reached by unknown intruder. Now when they say intruder, they mean us, the main character, the player also known as Poppy's Angel, as said by Dog Day. After that, we hear someone say this. A tale like this always starts simple. A tale like this always starts simple. What it's implying is that it later can get complicated, and what would be complicated is not knowing who's on your side, what toy is on your side. As we find out later on, that Poppy is stops us from escaping the factory by twisting the rails at the end of chapter 2. After that, she says the following. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. When Poppy says perfect, it could mean perfect that we could help kill the monsters so that the prototype could later on take their body parts and then make himself a new body this could explain why in chapter 1 and 2, Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longrix both try to kill us, not just in spite of us, but instead to stop us from accidentally rising the prototype. Because if we kill them, then the prototype would use their body parts to make a new body, as shown in chapter 2 when he takes Mommy Longlegs's upper half after we grind her. And this shows that she might be evil and not allowing us to escape. But then later on, Ollie says that mm, she just wants you to, like, beat the prototype. A mystery about a toy factory whose staff all vanished a decade prior. This note is the reason we first came here. It says, everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. But the thing is, we haven't seen a single one of our staff members in three chapters which means that the note could have been either used for a different purpose or just to free Poppy, which means that Poppy could have just been deceiving us and let, leaving, leading us to Huggy Wuggy, who almost killed us multiple times, and then Mommy Longlegs, and just to find the flower because she wanted to be free. It didn't take our lone intruder long before the first voice of the factory rose over the silence. Got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. This meant that Leith Pierre, one of the co-founders of Playtime Co, deeply regretted what he did to the orphans after turning them into toys. This was sad and depressing and maybe he became regretful. And then he told us that he hoped we were certain of what we were doing. However, before we even reach Mommy Longlegs, we have to kill Huggy because Poppy wanted to see if we were good enough. And then later, when we were about to kill Mommy, she says this. What have you done? You make me part of you! You can't do this to me! This shows that however Catnap worships the prototype, Mommy is afraid of him. And as Catnap would love to be part of him, he would sacrifice himself. But Mommy thinks of this as a dreadful punishment, which is why she says, you can't do this to me, because this can make things worse, and it's not good for either of you, her, or Huggy Wuggy, or even Catnap, however deluded he is. And then as we kill Catnap in the scene, we can see just how merciful the prototype is towards his servants and this is basically a lesson to everyone who actually likes the prototypes and who worships him and you can see here that catnap is actually afraid at first but then when the prototype allows him to come catnap gets on his knees and then instead of actually thanking him the prototype kills him at least he got to serve the prototype like he wanted to for so long and now he's actually even closer to him he's part of him Throughout the video, it says that how Huggy was basically doing what he was meant to do, which is to protect the factory. When we reach the flower, there's a bunch of messages that say stop, danger, turn around. And this could mean there's something evil behind the flower, 
or something that supports evil, like how maybe Poppy supports the prototype. This could show that she is very evil. And then at the end of the video, it says, And inside that room, there was a glass case. Inside that glass case, a doll. Poppy. And we shall see what comes of it, won't we? Last part, and we shall see what comes of it, won't we? Sounds more like a threat, which could imply that the person narrating this entire video could have been the prototype. And that could mean he supports Poppy and doesn't say anything that could give away her role throughout the whole video. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you want to see some more content about Poppy Playtime, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Also share this video with some more Poppy Playtime enthusiasts, whether that be your friends or family. Thank you.